Hi everyone, today is day two of the 31 days of tarot challenge and the question is your five favourite decks of 2018. So obviously, oh I was just going to, this is about my fifth or sixth take of this video, I'm really sorry for a small video, I don't know why I'm struggling, but anyway, um, because I started in, in, in April, or they're all kind of my favourites at the moment. I haven't had those years to amass so many decks that I can really narrow it down. Um, but these are the favourite that my, my top five, um, and then in no particular order. Um, but the first is the Sassara B2. Now this is a beautiful deck. It comes in a gorgeous box. And I think this was one of the first decks that I bought from Little Red Tarot. And thank goodness for them because it is thanks to the, the Little Red Tarot that we're able to get some of the decks um, from overseas that we would normally pay ridiculously high prices in customs for. So I just want to shout out to them because they are doing a wonderful job and please could we have more. Um, but this deck is is beautiful. I did work with it for a while, um, but because I was in the very early stages of, of amassing decks, um, I didn't work with it for perhaps as long as I should have done. It's a lovely gold gilding, and um, as you can see, that, that those are the backs. It is shiny, so I am trying to make sure I don't hit the, the, the lights. The Hermit card, I know this is quite a lot of everybody's favourite card and obviously some people do have particular cards that they like to see in a deck. Now this is you know well known, I, I'm um, probably only showing everybody decks that, that everybody's seen before but um, <clears throat> interesting enough because I've got so many decks I was very keen to try and use more of my decks um, and I, I developed a little system for this year which I will talk about either in my journaling or when I get to a, a, a question that perhaps covers it where um, I was using more of my decks but funny enough this and actually Pretty much all of them are not on that list. So I'm thinking, how is it then that I've done that? Well, partly because the decks that I've I've picked are ones I haven't necessarily really worked with. Um, but these are going to have to get used. Full, isn't he lovely? Because of course, it's so true, isn't it, that, that we're all on this journey. We keep starting new journeys, the wheel turns, and we're still learning well into our crone years or our older ages. And this is a particular favourite for me. This is the Queen of Cups as she is in her crone stage, looking into this beautiful bowl of water that's reflecting the stars. And I, I that to me is is just powerful, that imagery. And it is all about the imagery for me. Um, I like to be able to look at something and for it to give me an instant hit and I think for a deck to be able to do that and it, and it does I think you know that there, there's some there is some beautiful imagery in here and it is one of my absolute favorites I just look at that um so yeah so that's the first um I don't I don't think I need to show you them all because obviously these are decks that you have seen. I probably do not like this card. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit squeamish about things like eyes and stuff. I'm just trying to find if there's any other particular. I think this is also quite a good card for the two of swords. Um, but anyway, that's that deck and it is absolutely beautiful. If you don't have it and you're not on a deck year, maybe that's one to, to purchase. So, And the second deck, uh, as I say, these are in no particular order, is the Anima Mundi. I love this deck. Um, it is really beautiful. Um, it is also gilded. 
Um, these are the backs. Good, really good car stock. Another one, I think, from Little Red Tarot, pretty sure. Um, the imagery in these, are, I just absolutely love them. And although it has a border, for whatever reason, I have no desire to um, lop the borders off. And I love this. This is the peony. This is the um, Chinese uh, symbol for fertility, which, of course, as the Empress is correct. What a lovely way to um, express it. What a beautiful scene. Um, oh, you can really feel as if you're underwater with that card. This is not a nice card. Oh, I don't like that. Um, but the, what can I say? I mean, this deck has probably been shown plenty anyway. Um, but the owl as the high priestess, just beautiful. Uh, a wolf. The pentacles, I think. Well, and the sword. I mean, the, the, yeah, I could just go on and on. They, they are just beautiful. I mean, for the pentacles here, where you have the three, you've got the bees, that industrious bee. Um, there's a lot of winged birds with the swords, which, yeah. I mean, I I would have to say, and I because I am not an authority on tarot, and I am very much a beginner, even I feel that there are a few decks that seem to be coming in and around that almost feel as if they're just done for the sake of being done whereas there are other decks like these decks which are the depth and the thought and the detail that's gone into them you can feel that energy in that deck and you know I don't want to say that all mass-produced decks have no energy or no character but I feel when I get an indie deck there is something more powerful for me I'm not saying the imagery in other decks doesn't also do it for me but it's just um there is just a slight different perhaps it's because the author the creator has put something into this that it's you can feel their thoughts you can feel them trying to capture an image that they feel really reflects that card um, and so do mass produced decks I'm not saying that they don't because obviously they've been created but there just seems to be a few decks that maybe are just thrown together I, I, I don't have an example um, but just there are so many decks out there you do have to say I like something which has got the kind of imagery that's going to jump out at me and I'm going to know what it is. I'm, and I'm not talking again about um, alternative systems. That's that I'm not talking about those because that is a process where you learn that imagery and you relate it to what your um, uh, what the, the deck means. <clears throat> I'm just saying that, you know, when I look at some decks, I don't feel that the thought has gone into them in quite the way other decks and to me this deck has a lot of thought gone into it um, it's just a beautiful deck in in so many ways anyway i'm sure you have seen it but if, if you know if there is is anyone who wants to walk through of that i'll do one so um and then Again, this is in no particular order. The third one, for those of you who watched yesterday's, is the Naked Heart. I love it when they put little words and inscriptions. And it says in there, The Naked Heart Holds the Secrets of the Soul by Gillian C. Wilde. And uh, in the bottom, you've got the elements. You saw me use this yesterday, and I think a few people apparently have been using it. I haven't seen anybody's video yet, but um, boy, it does this pack a punch. This is a beautiful deck, and yet again, hasn't been uh, used in my 
system and I think mainly because I, I have used this a little bit but even from the time when I got it and I used it I've now moved on in my knowledge base not far but you could live 10 lifetimes probably and not learn everything you need to know about tarot so um, I feel as if I've come on since I actually got this deck and all the others and maybe that is now a time for me to get this deck out again as with the others and work with them because I'm now at a different level. I think that's a favourite card. The universe is a beautiful card. Um, the card stock on this is really thick. It, the the colours in it are beautiful. I missed out on the connected and free and because of that I was I feel compensated a little bit because this is a deck that has um, equally got that, that kind of imagery that it's just a bit different so I do feel that that I've, I'm compensated a little bit yes there are you know a few decks that I would still love to purchase I mean isn't that just beautiful look isn't he dinky sweetheart look at his little face <laughs> so yeah I think um, if you're going to invest in a deck that um, has you know got the, the it, what am I trying to say here an indie deck if you're going you know this to me is an investment it is um, a deck that I will treasure always and I absolutely adore it but I think that like all the decks that I've shown so far I need to spend more time with these decks and we have um, or I have gone mad and bought lots of decks this year but truly what I need to do is just spend a lot longer with each deck um, I love this pair you kind of want to show all the images but you know that the, you know this deck and it's been around um, and shown I I'm not doing my cards justice if I just buy them and leave them on the shelf if I'm going to have them I've got to use them uh, which is why I'm not going to be buying decks why I am into the um, depth here because that's it's important to me that I actually respect these cards and work with them um, I think that I mean I could show you the, the the whole set because they're just beautiful but I'm conscious of time and these were supposed to be quick videos <laughs> how can you do a quick video on tarot I mean really and as I say, I, I love uh, mass-produced decks. I could not not have mass-produced decks because how could I afford all of the indie decks? Um, so I'm, I'm certainly not dissing mass-produced decks, but it's just there seems to be some decks which you look at and you can tell that there's so much thought gone into them. Um, so now I'm on to number four. This is a new deck that I got in 2018 for my Christmas. And I haven't used it. And to be fair, um, because I am trying to study Marseille, um, I would hesitate to say that there are many of the Marseille decks that I, I couldn't also love just as much as this one. Um, but this is, I have to use the, 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 the Tarocchi Fin della Tor in Bologna. Um, and it is a Pip deck. It is a Marseille deck. The cardstock is beautiful. This came from the um, International Museum for Tarot in Italy. Um, I was just trying to find the majors because I don't, uh, I don't think I'd shuffled these yet. Hold on, guys. Let me just all over the shop. So this is a pip obviously but the colours are beautiful in this deck they really are 
um, I'll show you all of them. That's the base pentacles. So, yeah, that was quite good. Huh? Cups. I cut. I just love this deck. If you're going to learn Marseille, it's nice to do some of the history of the the tarot. And I enjoy watching Tom Benjamin and Nobody's Here because they have done quite a bit of history. So here's your fool. Just the colours are beautiful. I mean, the Marshmallow Tarot um, is also another one that I love. Um, oh, the, is it the Tarot? I can't remember the name of that. That I recently got. That's another beautiful colour uh deck there i've got some really nice marseille ones um the empress the emperor the hierophant with the stigmata the lovers the chariot Justice because that's how it is there round the other way. The hermit, bless him, he's been in the wars a bit, it looks like he's the wheel of fortune. Um strength, no lion. Interesting. The hanged man, and I just think the history of tarot is is worth a look if you want to do um if you want to do marseille and there's death with no number at all he's a happy death isn't he temperance the devil tower just love the colors in this deck star Moon, Sun, Judgment, I have, where is she going, where is the world gone there? So that's a beautiful deck and, and I really want to work with her. Um, I could literally have pulled any of my Marseille decks because they are all beautiful. Now I'm going to be a bit of a cheater because I can't decide between the last two. And I know I'm not supposed to, but I know last year somebody cheated and had six decks. So I'm going to do the same. So um, this is the Myth Mythic Tarot, which... Um, for those of you, this is the uh, original um, one with the artwork. Or oh, I was only reading this yesterday when I flipping it. I I just I give up. I will never be able to remember all the, the names and the artwork. But I particularly wanted the older style um, because when you I watched a couple of comparisons on this deck, and um, the artwork was richer in the older style. Now, I, as I say, I'm not doing it justice, but the new version, I believe might be an artist that's got a few decks out. And I have considered, because I do like that person's artwork and I can't remember his name. I can't pronounce it, I don't think probably anyway. Um, I really wish I was able to remember things a bit better, but he, I'd like to get this in that second um, edition or print because I, I I don't know, I want to say I'd lock the borders off, but I don't think I would. I'd certainly edge it. This is my only one, but I think the art, it would be nice to have the two. I mean, look at that. What just You just want to be sat there, don't you? Just enjoying that um, scene. And I love the Greek mythology. It's the book that comes with this is really good. I like um, I like the imagery. I, I worked with it yesterday. 
and I thought, you know what, this is another deck I should be working with more. This was one of the first ones I got. In fact, my husband got it for me. He got it for me second hand and, you know, he, he didn't pay silly money for it, but he paid perhaps more than you would want to. I mean, it was under £50, but you, you've, got to, you've got to ask yourself, do you really want to spend that? Well, I wanted this particular artwork and I'm very glad I've got it in my collection. Um, but equally, the artwork of the, the new version is just as nice. It's just, if you compare them, there are just slight differences in colours and I just preferred for this particular deck um, the artwork on this one but I will get the second one and that's what I think I'll be doing in, in into the six, second six months of the year is I'll be getting some look at that moon card I've gone longer on this than I wanted to um, getting getting the other set so I have both but the the other one and I couldn't as I say I couldn't call it is the elemental tarot now there are several versions of this my deck my backs um there is another version which is playing with just one of these um little uh, things at the top and I, I i don't know um i presume this is a a newer version but this this we got really cheap it is an out of print deck that was obviously the full and it's not going to appeal to everyone but I I loved it for lots of reasons. It's got a lot going on in information and the artwork is quite specific and it goes obviously with the, the Moon Oracle and I've shown both these decks and I just, I haven't started working with this deck yet, which is why I kind of didn't want to show it because I haven't started working with it, but I did buy it in 2018. Um, and it is beautiful, but I've really, and this is in my um, sequence to use this year. Anyway, I've spent longer on this than I intended to. It was meant to be a much quicker video than this, but I thought it would be nice to show this one again because it is beautiful. And um, yeah, I've waffled on again. Right guys, I'm going to uh, let you go because I have yet to do the next one. I'll do a few back-to-backs now. So thank you for watching and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.